Hello, my name is Anthony Rogers, and the archive I've chosen to study this semester is titled The Emergence of Advertising in America, 1850 to 1920. The first thing to discuss is, what is actually contained in this archive? Well, as the name suggests, it's advertisements. You can find advertisements for practically anything in this archive, with the list ranging from acid phosphate to Xyron iron tonic. The most prevalent product being sold is cameras, with Kodak alone having 550 of the more than 3,000 advertisements in this archive. The second most prevalent product is tobacco, with almost 400 ads split across the various cigar and cigarette companies. Also making a strong showing is a company called Pons, a hygiene company with about 200 advertisements. Interestingly enough, the last item that had over 100 pieces of material stored in the archive was the concept of advertising itself. As the archive's title states, this time period was the emergence of advertising, so advertising companies had to advertise the concept of advertising. The materials in the archive were assembled by Duke University and were primarily pulled from the John W. Hartman Center for Sales, Advertising and Marketing History, and Duke's David M. Rubinstein Rare Book and Manuscript Library. This archive is a compilation of print ads that came from a plethora of mediums, including magazines, newspapers, flyers, pamphlets, and books. There are no radio ads, jingles, or other auditory content stored in the archive. Not everything could make the cut into the archive. What the creators chose to focus on were the ads that were especially informative, visually appealing, or representative of a product or trend. What was specifically excluded or limited were any ads that were near duplicates of other ads, or just solid blocks of text, or were either too large, too small, or too damaged to be scanned by their machines. With over 3,000 images making up the archive, being able to search through them is of the utmost importance. The archive allows you to search it based on criteria such as product, company, year, location, and medium. You can further sort this information into alphabetical order or by quantitative number of ads from the same source. The creators of this archive also pre-made 11 categories that gather the most prevalent, but scattered, data. For example, all of the various tobacco, cigar, and cigarette companies have been gathered into the Tobacco Ads category. Being a collection such as it is, there is no single voice distinct in the archive. The binding thread between the various sources is people trying to sell things. This ranges from individuals selling land or horses, to small businesses advertising goods and services provided, to large companies selling their products, to even the U.S. government getting into the advertising trend. It's always important to know who created a source of information and for what reason they created it. Duke describes their purpose in creating this archive as to provide a significant and informative perspective on the early evolution of this most ubiquitous feature of modern American business and culture. Duke could not have done this alone, however. The creation of this archive is due in part to the contributions of the Library of Congress and the Lowell and Eileen Aptman Digital Preservation Fund. This has been a summary of the Emergence of Advertising in America archive. Thank you very much for your time.